Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. In a reception usually reserved for a rock star... Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has received a standing ovation as he welcomed Labor MPs to Parliament House in Canberra today, this time in government. Labor has secured 76 seats, meaning it can govern without the help of independents. Victoria has recorded 20 COVID-related deaths in the past 24 hours, while 19 lives have been lost in New South Wales. There are concerns today that Australia could battle a third Omicron wave in the first month of winter. Doherty Institute epidemiologists predict cases of the BA4 and five variants to become dominant over the next month. Storms and gale force winds are signalling a strong start to the ski season. Perisher in southern New South Wales received 20 centimetres of snow overnight, while 15 centimetres of snow is on the ground at Mount Buller in Victoria's Alpine region. The ski community is hopeful it can get back up and running after two years of COVID disruptions. A man has been left with cuts and bruises after an encounter with a kangaroo. Cliff Dez tried to shoo the roo away from his Victorian home after it engaged with his dogs. It responded by chasing him and launching an attack. Cliff suffered injuries to his head, fingers and leg. There's a lot of elderly people walk past here every day and there's a lot of women with kids and on their little push bikes and women wheeling kids in prams and stuff, I suppose. You know, it could have been worse. It could have been one of them. Hundreds of passengers and crew are getting ready for the restart of Australia's cruise industry. P&O's Pacific Explorer will set sail from Sydney's White Bay Cruise Terminal this evening on the first voyage out of the harbour since the 2020 COVID cruise ban. And a new study has found drinking coffee every day could help you live longer. The American College of Physicians found people who drink one and a half to three and a half cups a day were up to 21% less likely to die than those who don't drink coffee Adding a teaspoon of sugar brings the difference up to 31%. To sport, brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply and remember, gamble responsibly. Call 1-800-858-858. A blow for the Socceroos with Tom Rogic pulling out of their must-win World Cup qualifier against the UAE, citing personal reasons. Daniil Medvedev and Stefano Tsitsipas have both been knocked out of the French Open, upset in their fourth round matches. Tonight, Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic face off in the quarterfinals. While in the women's, Iga Shavontek has extended her winning streak to 32 games, advancing to the quarterfinals. In entertainment news, first pictures are out showing Bradley Cooper fully transformed as esteemed Broadway composer Leonard Bernstein in the upcoming Netflix film Maestro. And the final box office takings for the Memorial Day weekend in the US have been tallied up and Tom Cruise has entered the record books. Top Gun 2 made $154 million, the biggest ever opening for the four-day weekend in May. Takings at the Australian box office exceeded $13.5 million. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. I'm Susie Thompson.